Today I'm going to walk you through a couple of accessories that you can add onto your boiler to increase the efficiency. So I've got a couple of things here, I'm just going to go over the basics and why you might need them on your boiler. First I'm going to talk about the expansion tank. So without a properly sized expansion tank, water pressure can cause leaks or even complete ruptures in your system. And most one to two zone homes use a 15 pound expansion tank, but you can purchase a larger one just to give yourself that extra space. So domestic hot water plumbing systems generally use Amtrol's Thermextrol expansion tanks. For radiant and hydronic heating systems, there's tanks like Amtrol's Extrol, Radiant Extrol, and Filtrol expansion tanks. And before you make your purchase, you're gonna to wanna to match your system's PSI with your water heater size in gallons. So next I just wanna go over your relief valve. You basically need this on all water boilers. And I just wanna go over the basics of why it's important. So relief valve is for thermal expansion relief and it opens when the boiler reaches a certain amount of pressure. Then it closes when the pressure conditions are normal. Relief valves are installed right on the side of your boiler as you can see right here. So this specific model from Zern has a maximum working pressure of 175 PSI and a maximum working temperature of 210 degrees. So make sure you know your system's output and input when you make your purchase. Now I wanna talk about air eliminators, which you probably already know are very important because any air that's trapped in your system, especially if it's closed loop, will cause aging of your piping. And if it's iron, it's gonna make things rust. So when iron parts rust, it gets in the water, which lowers its heat transferability and reduces the efficiency of the heating system. These are for more refined bubbles, which generally cause more problems to the system. And it's more expensive than an air scoop because it's more complex and efficient. If you're installing a boiler, you should definitely consider adding an air eliminator. And anywhere near the top of your boiler and your piping system is the best spot because that's where the temperature is highest and it's also at its greatest velocity. Next, I'm gonna talk about air scoops, which are pretty similar to air eliminators, but the main purpose of an air scoop is to slow the water velocity so that you can separate air from the solution. And also the biggest difference is that these are for big air bubbles in the system, whereas air eliminators are for more refined bubbles. So this can be installed right on top of your expansion tank in conjunction with your iron and copper piping. So it just screws in pretty simply, just like that. So next is your air vent. It's a very simple product that looks exactly like this. And it's almost exactly what it sounds like. It just exists to get excess air out of your system and you can screw it right onto your air scoop like this. So once the air scoop gets the air, it just releases from this top valve right here. To calibrate the air vent, Tighten this top piece and then slightly loosen it. And then it's good to install on top of your air scoop. So this specific model from Taiko has a maximum operating pressure of 50 PSI. And the maximum operating system pressure is 150 PSI. And this also operates with a maximum temperature of 240 degrees. Another important accessory that you can add on if you're installing a boiler is this purge and fill valve. So if you ever want to service your system, you can purge and fill it before working on it. And this makes it very easy to do. So if it's a closed loop system, you can purge and fill at the same time with two hoses connected to these ports right here. Another thing to consider with the purge and fill valve is installing a backflow preventer. And this is very simple. It's exactly what it sounds like. Boilers have a minimum safe operating water level that's specified by each manufacturer. And if the water level ever goes below that level, heat accumulates in the system and causes significant damage. So that's why you can add a low level cutoff switch to stop that from happening. And this one by Taiko is really good and I'll show you why. So this shutoff prevents that from occurring with a signal to protect against low water levels. It will even tell you when the probe should be cleaned, eliminating the need for yearly maintenance. And this can be installed anywhere in the piping within your boiler range. So this features an automatic reset switch that engages when water returns to a safe level of operation. And also has an integrated test switch that you can use to test the functionality of the shutoff. So any of these accessories with threads should be installed with pipe dope or thread sealant. I have another video on how to do this properly. I also have another video on how to size your expansion tank. So if you don't know how to do that, you should check that out. And subscribe to the channel if you like these videos and also like the video. <laughs> We should start the whole the entire video like that. <laughs>